What is up, everybody? Stud City here, joined by our co-host, Tanner. Good to be back. I know we had a different situation last week, but it worked out great, and I'm excited for that going forward. But today's topic is our podcast series, and we're hyped to be back going into episode nine, one episode a week away from episode 10. Uh, Tanner, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll let you say a few words. Get on into it. Thank you for having me, man. I know we've I know we've been kind of busy, me and you included. Like our schedules are completely flipped. So so I apologize that I wasn't able to make it for the last one, but glad to be back though. No, that's that's awesome. We have a pretty big schedule going forward later into the year. Uh we are gonna do this weekly and we're continuing that 430 Central, 530 Eastern. 3.30 Mountain Standard Time. That's a hard one to be right. Uh, but we have quite the topic for today's uh, podcast series. And I'm, I'm pretty pumped for it because uh, we we did a little background on this and we've enjoyed talking about it. <laughs> We're like, okay, we need to start recording because yeah. we have a, a lot of stuff to go over. Uh, so the first thing would be uh, we're going to be going into planning out double VIP weekend, which is March 12th on a Friday to March 14th on a Sunday. So there is a ton of good things coming our way for that especially with the march 1st release right around the corner uh well time of, at time of recording is around the corner at time of release of this video march 1st release is out uh but the big one is the uh jane goodall promo and we want to mm-hmm. touch upon that for quite a minute here because it's probably the best promo we've had this year it definitely is the best promo we had this year and probably the better promo we've seen in a in a while so uh let's talk about price point tanner uh, we're, we're coming up with 120 euros. I'm thinking, what, what do you think that is? Like 140 us around there? Probably around there. So at a standpoint of a promo, is that, a, is that good for current day situation? I know we can, we can talk about the past, like the vintage car, which was like a $75 spend and get promo. It's that was, that's a long time ago. That, that doesn't exist anymore. And yeah. they gotta accept newer terms. So is one say it's 140, say it's 150 on a higher end. Is that a good price point for a promo? Well, I think I think I'd like to see it around the 100, 200 range. Not I mean not 100, <laughs> 200 range, 100, 120 range. Yes. Because we saw the air heart last year at around 100. And I'd say I'd say 120 US would be a fair price for this promo. But if it's 120 euros and it's 140 USD, like yeah. I wouldn't. Like it's high end, but like eh, I'll cough it up. But it's ridiculous seeing like the vintage car at eighty five, and then see the vintage taxi at two hundred. Like yeah, yeah. It's like too- I don't know, I don't know what Legos on, but I want some of it. Like that's <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> two hundred, two hundred is, um, in my opinion, I don't even think there's a promo worth worth it to pay two hundred. Like. That, that's just that's it has to be an extremely exclusive item. That's just a yeah. ridiculous price point. And then instantaneous, you see those promos on the resale market for like a fifty dollars plus. And if you just have patience, within two months, they're they'll be back down to like twenty bucks. Uh, yeah. People people panic. They're like, oh, they're not buying them. We got to get rid of these. You know, I bought a bunch of them. So that 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 is one advice there. But so the big thing with this promo. Uh, this double VIP weekend is the Jane Goodall promo is coming out on March 1st, 1st to March. I believe it's March 15th is the exact day. I was like 12th or so, but it's like around the same thing. Is it? Well, that's, that's a vital piece of information because double VIP starts at 12th. My understanding was we can overlap and get double VIP and stack the Jane Goodall promotional item. I'm hoping that's the case, but I'm not sure. Like, I feel like they've been kind of getting better at that recently. Where you, like, remember when the they had like Book of Monsters, Vintage Car, like all those together. Like, yep. they've been they've been spreading them out more. Like, they know people like to stack these. So yeah, of course, that's when when people are gonna order, right? Yeah, I would, I'd hope to see that because having a promotional item on double VIP is a huge incentive to purchase. And even if it's just double VIP, I don't think people will will spend that much kind of money, right? Like they might buy Mm -hmm. something, but I think they'd rather go off to the promos. And that's, that's a good topic to go into. Like, would you rather have double VIP or would you rather have a good promo if you only got to choose one and not both of them? Uh, For, for me, I would, I would say I'd rather have the promo. 
and I'd, and I'd agree with you, man. Because I mean, another five percent off from Lego is not a huge deal, you know. Uh, if you spend a hundred bucks, that's five dollars, and I'd rather have a good promo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> but more realistic, say it's two hundred dollars, uh, you'd save ten dollars instead of um a good promo. So yeah, I'd rather have the promo. That that answered my own question. I know you said promo as well, but I'm I'm hoping we could double stack. Good promotion, Jane Goodall promotion, double VIP points, and then maybe even a poly bag. Let us triple stack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think there was an opportunity with that uh, during Black Friday. You can get like double VIP. They had uh, the sign and Santa's front yard. And then you also had that poly bag code that they had online. Yeah. Yep. I, I took advantage of that a bit. But yep. but I am looking for some more stacking opportunities, like what we saw uh, last year in January, where you could literally like get like three promos with like the burrow that paid for like pretty much the entire cost of the set. Like it yep. was ridiculous. I wish I wish I bought more of those. Like, I know it's like you think back on situations like that where Lego had double VIP and some like crazy awesome promo. It's like, man, I could have just bought so many of these and just done so well, right? Like the the promo was very popular, and you could have just got rid of some and helped pay for your Lego costs. I mean, that's a pretty reasonable way of doing things, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, dang, that that's a really. It's 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 so easy to reminisce. Like I remember my first Black Friday shopping for Lego and like paid so cheap for big sets essentially with promo stacking. <laughs> Diners with double VIP and Charles Dickens. And um, Charles Dickens. I'm, 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 I'm kicking myself for that one, bro. And and Rockets in 20% cash back. Bro, <laughs> that's that's illegal. They uh that that was they I hope they fix that because that that was big money saving. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, I'm, I'm pumped for this promo. I think I, I definitely want to get one, uh, possibly two, uh, what sets would you be ordering during the double VIP promo? Cause I know the website doesn't have everything back in stock, but they're actually doing pretty well and getting a lot back in stock as I keep checking it. Mm -hmm. Like I'm honestly, like if, if Coles doesn't come through, I'm looking to get a star destroyer. Okay. Like. Like it's a it's a it's gonna be a tough bullet to swallow, but if I can if I can get double VIP and like promos with it, I might wait until I can get can get to Montana and get that with no tax. No sales tax. That's, more, that's like gonna be better than double VIP. Yeah. So, yeah. So I was thinking that, or either uh, I might go for Blacksmith, or maybe maybe another City Gardens or Batwing. That's that's quite a variety. That's a good selection. I would yeah, say. I'm not I'm not really yeah. sure what I'm going for yet, honestly. I mean, Star Wars UCS, that's going to retire this year. So, I believe. So, that's a really good buy if you're planning to get it soon. Um, yeah. Blacksmith is potentially retiring. It might. I don't know, not sure. But I'd be it, surprised if they did. But then again, I was very surprised when they retired Barricade of Bay as well. So Exactly. That's why I'd be very shocked. And if they do, that set is going to be crazy expensive. But that is... That's for, that's my favorite idea set by far. Yeah, nothing comes close to it in my opinion. Uh, BTS. My opinion, Barracuda Bay, the goat. Okay, you know, that one, that was, I didn't build like that one right but, there. Yeah, very. I close. don't know. BTS Dynamite might have it have it on the long run. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> God, I yeah, that's a different topic. Not for today's video. <laughs> uh, we've already complained about ideas too much. We can't <laughs> we can't beat the dead horse even more, man. <laughs> It's too easy. That's too easy of a video to just just sit here and knock on Lego ideas. So we won't do that in today. Yeah, uh, we'll try to be positive, guys, for once. For once. Uh, now, the other set you said was Ninjago City Gardens. Best set of 2021 uh, by far. Nothing, Incredible, nothing comes close to it. I would not be opposed to getting a second one of those in the future. Yeah. Is that supposed to retire in 2022? I know there's rumors uh, of it. There's rumors of it, but I would honestly be really surprised if they did so. I, I definitely see that in carrying, like, at the very least, another year. Yeah, at the very least, I'd say another year, unless unless they dropped another one this year. Another one to look out for, apparently they might be discontinuing uh, the Hogwarts Castle, the UCS one. Oh, yeah. Not UCS, but, like, UCS for UCS. Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah. The, the $400 one. Yeah. Right, that, that one's pretty awesome. That's a massive set. I, I would expect that. I would see that happening. Uh, they'll definitely keep Diagon Alley around a little bit longer, I think. 
which yeah, is another that's great. High, that's what I really need to have that. I know. I've been. I, I kind of just want to grab it to have it sealed. Maybe I'll d- debate on it for double VIP since double VIP is yeah. pretty awesome. Uh, what was the other set you said that was in mind? Uh, I believe it was the. Was it was it the Diagon Alley or? I think it was Diagon Alley. Okay. So well, I was talking about that, but then I also had. Shit, I forgot. <laughs> I, I know. I thought it really was... completely slipped out of my memory. That's all right. I mean, that's a that's a good selection to go off of. I think all of those would pretty much fit into like a good. Let us know in the comments, pictures. guys. We forgot. <laughs> yeah, let us know in the comments. Okay, that was because that, that that brings a question to me. Um, I wanted to pick up all the new brickheads. Um, <laughs> those really don't go on sale. So. Yeah. If you if I'm gonna make ordering from Lego, I think that's a good time to order all of those and get that done with. The other thing I wanted Toy was Story which one? The Toy Story ones. All of those. The um, I just focused on like the licensed ones because that's, like if that's it's like seasonal am. ones, they'll they'll definitely go on sale. Stranger Things, the Toy Story ones. Uh, I believe I have them in my cart. Looney, so Tunes. Looney Tunes and then the Lion Dance guy. So. Quite a few. Uh, I have it in my cart total right now, and it's a hundred bucks. Well, I have those extra Chinatown poly bags. You can only buy five online. Thanks, Lego. Can't buy more than five poly bags at a time. <laughs> fraud, fraud activity. So it's about a hundred bucks. So I'd be pretty close to getting that promo. But the other set I wanted to bring up was that Ninjago mech because that is a buy for me. I have mm-hmm. to have that Ninjago mech. And yeah, I'm the same way with the dojo, man. I need that set. That that too. It's on my list to get. I want I want the mech first. I want to build the mech. Um, Shoot, that, that might be a good one for double VIP. I can get a dojo. Yeah. And I still need the buildable headwig. That's like forty dollars. So it just yes. came back in stock. That's a good one as well. So there's a lot of options, but that mech is not available. I don't think, or at least last time I checked, it wasn't. Um, oh yeah, I bet the dojo isn't either. That it's thing's not. Super popular. <laughs> it's super popular. I it's I want to get it. Man. Do you think? those sets you could find on sale uh i honestly doubt it like like i think Z- zavi has like the dojo for like 12 percent off right now but at that point you'd rather just get it from lego because yeah. you're gonna get promo. 10% back in vip plus promos like it's yeah. not even worth your time that is true i'm see I, i've just been on edge because the the temple for sure you're not getting on sale like i, I guarantee yeah. that um the mech you might be able to at like it Walmart. Might. But then again, like I, I'm kind of looking at the same price points for like a uh, Skull Dungeon and the uh, Skull Dragon. Those sets both never went on sale, and these sets are essentially like the same exact price point. Yeah. Yep. No, that's that's kind of why I'm trying to be patient. Like, if you could get it at Walmart on rollback, it's probably a better deal. That's another one I need to get, man. Water Dragon. That one's great. I gold, still haven't gotten that either. Gold, Golden Neo, that's a great set. I doubt get that. that's on sale. Man. You, you won't find that set on sale. Yeah. Any, All of those sets appreciated very well with um, all the gold and minifigs. Oh, yeah. Um, man. I that still was, need to get the Zane mech, too. Dude. There's so many good Ninjago sets I haven't gotten. Man. Get the Zane mech before it's gone because that set's incredible. Yeah, I, I bet that's going to be gone either this summer or this winter. I saw it at Walmart the other day, and I was like, "Dang, do I buy the rest of these?" Like, I'm pretty sure they're already retired. <laughs> I just <laughs> haven't, I just haven't seen them in so long. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I, I don't think they've retired yet, but there was definitely like they were definitely very popular over Christmas. Like yeah. they were basically gone everywhere. Yeah, no, it, I have not seen that set in months, and that and that's kind of like the effect, right? Like we're starting to see more sets on the shelves heading after the long sprout of holiday season shopping <laughs> yeah definitely and you got to think about it it's it's about to be march 1st i know time of recording uh, we're on the weekend so march 1st uh will be after you guys are watching this but there's a there's just not been lego sets on the shelves it's crazy yeah and, it's wild i and, went to my walmart it was like basically empty bro yeah, there's like uh, there's like no clearance this year because there's nothing left to clearance. I bought the llama on clearance. That's it. <laughs> I got I got one skull dragon. I will that, say that that was good. like my one win. That's you see that's really good. Yeah, there really has not been a lot of clearance this year, and it's been it's been rough. It's not anything compared to last year. Uh, I did go to Walmart this weekend, uh, like house shopping, some stuff like some necessities, mm-hmm. and 
I checked the Lego aisle and they had all the speed champions. They had uh, the dark trooper battle packs. They had Boba's palace. So I, they had great sets in stock. I didn't buy anything though, because I was like, yeah, this is all retail. Like, I'm yeah, it's, it's all going to go on sale in like three months. So exactly. Bothered. It's at least rollback. Like at least Bro, some Boba's of the palace sale. is already on sale and it's not even out yet. <laughs> yeah. That's not, that's not even a March 1st release. If I'm not mistaken, is it? I believe it is, believe but Costco has been getting them like early and they already have them on sale. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I've seen them like 80 bucks at Costco, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That should well, have been the retail price, but <laughs> definitely should have been the retail price. 80 bucks is more reasonable for that set. Well, There's some decent Lego Star Wars. <laughs> well, and that takes us to Lego Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> we won't. Yeah, we won't. We might save that for another episode. I'm thinking. Yeah. This one, yeah, this I one, think we've, I think we've dunked on that theme a lot. <laughs> we've dunked on that theme a lot. We've hit a long topic on double VIP. It is, it's an exciting, exciting time um, mm-hmm. for double VIP. It's been a while, and I think, I think we covered it pretty well. You could definitely get some deals. Make sure you use a Rock Ten link in the description. <laughs> now I don't know if if I'll make a separate video if Rock Ten does some crazy stuff or if there's another good deal like Honey or something. Yeah, but we will see. I think I think that's gonna wrap it up though, Tanner, for this episode. We, we yeah, I think that's about all we have to go over. Yeah. Really well, looking forward to uh what they release in the summer. That's huge. Uh I keep seeing tons of rumors and I try to share it with Discord uh as much as I can, but I've seen some crazy rumors. Uh, oh yeah, cool stuff. lots um, of really cool D2C sets. Yep. Star Wars might be making a, a rally this year. Yep. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. I said that in the past with the palace, but it didn't work out. But <laughs> I digress. We'll go over that later. What's uh? What's the one building from Spider Man? I with the dome. I can't, I can't remember. San- Sanctorum. San- Sanctorum. Oh uh, yeah, that was the one thing. They 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 like a D two C set of the Sanctorum. That's gonna be pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I think I, I don't was... know. I don't really know anything about Marvel, but the Sanctorum's pretty sick. Yeah. I'm assuming a, a massive modular one, probably put next to, I don't know, Bugle or something. Next to the Bugle, man? Yeah. That would be so cool. That'd be cool. I, I hope they do a good job with it. Uh, I hope it's modular style. But if they do that. a whole Marvel modular line, that would be awesome. Oh, my God. And and what a time to be in Lego because we got the, like, we have it from the start. Like, I got the Bugle. It's not like yeah. getting, I'm not getting in late. Like, I'm starting from the start. So, yeah. It's that really would, cool to see them doing that. They could definitely do it. I think there's a lot of buildings, right, in Marvel that are pretty iconic. So, I'd say so. Yeah. That's exciting going forward. We'll save more leaks and rumors for a future episode, but we do have a bunch. It's hard to do that since we pre-record these podcasts. I know we can talk about it, but uh, we do try to keep it in the Discord lively. So free link in the description below. Join the Discord and have a discussion with us. We do try to talk about that quite often. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for today. I appreciate you, Tanner. Uh, if you want to say some closing words, it was a great episode. I had a lot of fun recording with you guys. Thank you for all the viewers. You guys make this enjoyable. So, Tanner, I'll let you have a few words. Always a pleasure, man. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. It's 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 been a fun. We are closing in on 10 episodes, which is pretty crazy. That's a good milestone. Uh, we're going to continue excited, to do man. this. Yeah, we'll continue on. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.